What's up, you Chad Poles? Welcome to another video. We are going to be trying something a little crazy, okay? I'm gonna be Jimmy the lawyer, and I'm gonna go into the Riften jail and see if I could just pick up a client and bail him out of prison. Let's just go in here, see what happens, and answer once and for all if getting a law degree even matters. Did you have some sort of official business here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Um, Saul Goodman here. I'm actually here to see one of your clients. His name is, uh, one second. His name is Sibby, Sibby Blackbriar. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk inside okay uh good to meet you how you doing sibby my name is uh but you can call me jimmy i am going to be your new court appointed lawyer okay so what got what you put happened? into this dump huh i was accused of a crime i didn't commit now i need your help to clear my name and return to my family sibby 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 of course of course i know you didn't commit it okay you are wrongfully imprisoned here as so many other people are okay but if you if you did maybe commit it look it doesn't matter if you did it or not okay we just need to know what are they accusing you of i've been accused of theft and extortion neither of which i've done i need you to help me prove my innocence by finding evidence to support my case listen to me sibby i know i trust you you didn't do it in this world the truth doesn't matter and what matters is that we need to get you out what did you steal who did you bribe break down the situation for me I was accused of stealing a family heirloom from a powerful Riffin family and bribing a guard for protection. Mm. However, I can assure you I am innocent. I need of you to course. seek out the real culprit and gather evidence to expose their wrongdoing. You would never do something like that, so I get you. Don't worry about it. I'm the best goddamn lawyer in Albuquerque and in Skyrim, so you, you are a lucky fella. Saul, or should I say Jimmy, I appreciate your confidence. If that's the plan, then I'm all for it. Just do what you think is best. Here's the bottom line, bud. As your lawyer, I I need the whole story. Please, in all honesty, I need you to tell me what actually happened that night. All right, Jimmy, I can trust you. I didn't commit the crime. I was set up by a rival businessman who wanted to ruin my reputation and take control of my interests. Who is this person that you had some beef with? His name is Malther Mayormer. I'll do you this, buddy. I'm gonna go talk to the Malther May Howard. You're gonna have to give me his name again. You're gonna have to spell it out for me. I'm gonna go and talk to them and see what information I can find. You can count on me, all right? Bud? Thank you, Jimmy. I have faith in your abilities. I'll catch you later. Let me ask you something. What do you know about that Blackbriar in there? He's currently serving a life sentence for kidnapping and murder. Kidnapping and murder, huh? Because that's not what he told me. I'm a whole guard, not part of some rifting police. TV <laughs> Blackbriar is here for kidnapping and murder, and nothing else. So he lied. If I just slip you a little something here, you could probably tell me who he murdered? There. Absolutely not. I won't jeopardize my principles for a bribe. No, no, I wasn't trying to bribe you. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I you you completely uh, misunderstand what I was saying. I was just I was just asking if you knew, you know. But um, if you if you don't know, then then don't worry about it. Okay, we'll catch up later. It was great talking to you. Okay, goodbye. Hey there, Maven. It's me, Jimmy, the lawyer you hired to get your son Sibby out of jail. Ah, uh, the lawyer. I assume you've already taken care of it. Not quite yet. Do you mind if I sit down real quick? So here's the thing. As a lawyer, I can't really work with your son if he's not willing to work with me, okay? I can't present a case if I don't know the actual facts. I understand that you're here to help. Sibby is in prison for murder, but it was self-defense. He killed okay. his ex fiancés brother after he was confronted about his affairs with other women. Very well. Now we're getting somewhere. So what was the name of the victim. It's not important to the case. What's important is that Sibby acted in self-defense and should be released from prison. Well, I need to know who died in order to prove that they died by somebody else's hand. I need to know what happened that night in order to weave a story if you catch my drift. I don't care if he did it or not. That's not what you pay me for. But in order to get him out, I need to know what happened. I understand your concerns but I don't have all the details of what happened that night. Speaking with the Jarl could provide us with more information about the case and help us build a stronger defense for Sibby. I appreciate the dinner. I will get out of your hair. Thank you so much. Greetings, Jarl. My name is Jimmy the Lawyer. I work for the state, and I had some questions to ask you about one of the men in prison, if you had a quick second. It seems that in the state records, not all of the details are there, and I'm kind of wondering who, who input this information in here. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I would recommend speaking with the prison warden or clerk for more information on your client's case. I, I mean, no, no disrespect, Jarl, but if your warden is not doing a good enough job, then we have people falsely imprisoned in there, okay? 
okay? There's a man in jail for murder right now. No one knows the name of the person he murdered, and there are no witnesses. Everything is just because of the words of some guards, and, uh, you know, I'm sure legally that that's not binding. I take offense to your implication that the warden of Riften's prison is not doing their job properly. As oh, Jarl, oh. I assure you that all the prisoners in Riften's jail have been properly convicted and sentenced. I I'm sure there's been some mistake. It's just he's been in there, and there is no evidence to say that he did commit the murder. That's the thing. If there is no evidence to support your client's guilt, then I suggest you take it up with the court. Very well. Who do I need to talk to to get my client out of prison? You would need to speak with the court administrator in solitude. The court administrator's name is Elisif the Fair, the Queen of Solitude. The fucking queen? You're saying that I have to go to the Queen of Solitude in order to get a man in Riften out of jail? Yes, that is correct. Elisif the Fair is responsible for overseeing all legal proceedings in Skyrim. Fine, I'll go do that. Sure, thank you. Goodbye. Fucking stupid. Safe travel. Jesus Christ, 12 hour bus ride and it's still fucking raining out here. Let's see if we can get this over with. Wow. That's pretty nice. Um, okay. Well, she's supposed to be here. My appointment. I'm not late to my appointment, so I guess I'll just wait for her. Mr. Jimmy? <laughs> The queen will see you now. Oh, oh, yes, that's me. That's me. Sorry, your majesty. My name is Jimmy. I'm a lawyer. I'm working on a case. Essentially, there's been a, a man wrongfully imprisoned for murder. There doesn't seem to be any information input into the system. The Jarl said that you are the stewardess of all of Skyrim's legal matters and that you could possibly help me. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. As the steward of Solitude, I'm aware of the many legal matters that require attention, and I'll see what I can do to help you with this wrongfully imprisoned individual in Riften. I suggest you provide me with as much information as you can about the case, and I'll look into it further to see if I can uncover anything that might be helpful. Sibby Blackbriar was imprisoned into Riften Jail. A Riften guard stopped him in the middle of the night after coming out of party, and he said, Hey, you killed someone! Happens to be Sibby Blackbriar's ex fiance's brother, so they think that he had something to do with him, but they were already split up. When I approached the guards to see the evidence locker, there was no evidence, there was no timing, there seems to be no other information, and in fact, even the Jarl of Riften didn't want to seem to help me out with this. Thank you for providing me with the details, Jimmy. It's clear that there seems to be a lack of evidence and a need for further investigation in this case. I'll see what I can do to help get to the bottom of this matter to ensure that justice is served. Respectfully, Queen, I think this case needs to be thrown out. Article 1748 of Skyrim's penal code says that with the lack of evidence, there is no case. How can I, a lawyer, present a case when there is no evidence? No one seems to have any information. There isn't even a body for this dead man, okay? They don't even have a name. I said, who is this man? And they're like, oh, uh, he's unknown. That doesn't make any sense. So I come to ask you, would you please write a letter throwing this case out so that I can free my client from prison? Given the lack of evidence and the questionable circumstances, I believe it is in the best interest of all parties involved to have the case dismissed. Thank you. I'll ensure that a letter is prepared and sent to the appropriate officials. Queen Elisif, you truly are the best of the best. I really, really appreciate your help. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day, okay? I know I will. Thank you. Woohoo! You're very welcome. Bah! And that's another finished case for old Jimmy. Mm, 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 mm. I've got it! I've got it here! Hello, good sir. In my hand, I hold release notes signed by the Queen of Skyrim releasing my client, Sibby Blackbriar, from any wrongdoing. Sibby Blackbriar was sentenced to life for kidnapping and murder, and I cannot release him based on a note, even if it is from Queen Elisif. Sir, this is a note, a stamped note from the High Queen of Skyrim. She outranks you, she outranks the Jarl of Riften, she is the utmost legal person in the entire country, okay? Read the note, her signature's there, clear as day. I'll even set it here for you. C.B. Blackfriar's crimes were committed in Riften, and he was sentenced by the Riften Court. If you have any concerns, please take it up with the Riften Court or high authorities. The federal court is higher than the local courts. Do you understand what I am saying? And that is a Supreme Court judge-signed statement. Grab your keys and let out my client.
The document you have presented, while signed by a Supreme Court judge, does not change the fact that Civi Blackbriar was sentenced for his crimes in Riften by the Riften Court. Releasing him really would be a violation of my duty in the law. You know what? I I'm not playing games with you, okay? I don't know what kind of silly games you guys and what kind of loony bin you guys have running around, but everything that I have seen here is a clear violation of subsection F, statement C of the Skyrim Federal Legal Binding Contract, okay? So the moment that I get my client out of here, which is going to be right now, I am going to come back and sue your entire, the entire penitentiary that you got here. Do you understand me? And you are going to be the first on my list. As a written guard, Shayla, it is my duty to uphold the law and ensure that prisoners serve their sentences. I I'm not doing with this, okay? I'm going to go get my client out, and if you want to stop me, you better fucking try. Sibby, grab your stuff. We're leaving. Thank you for your help. All right, Sibby, you got your things? We're getting you out of here. You've been released. Let's go. I'm ready to leave this place. Let's go. You would not believe the kind of bullshit that I had to go through to get you out of here. Excuse me. Listen you to me, Jailer. I got half a mind to report you to the authorities. I am taking my client out of here, and if you want to stop us, you're going to have to f***ing kill me! <laughs>